<laughs> Wilbur starts a giggling, <laughs> then he starts to laugh, <laughs> then he starts a wiggling. He's such, such a funny, funny cat. Move. When he starts to wiggle, when he starts to giggle, you know it must be time to read a book. Because books are moveless. Read a book. Because books are adventurous. Read a book. Come on, everybody. Let's all have fun. <laughs> Dasha is a happy duck. She loves to laugh and fly. Cock a doo doo. It's Ray. You know that he's not shy. Little Bibby giggles when Wilbur wiggles. These barnyard friends just love to read a book. Books are moveless. Read a book. Cause books are adventurous. Read a book. Come on, everybody. Let's all have fun with Wilbur. Socks. Hi. Hi, Wilbur. We're playing tag today. Tag, you're it. <laughs> it's a perfect day for tag. Look at that beautiful blue sky and the great green sock moo. <laughs> Wilbur. Why do you have a green sock on your ear? What? I don't know, Dasha. Why do you have a striped sock <gasps> on your bill? Red sock. <laughs> it's raining socks. That's mysterious. Where are they coming from? <laughs> Very mysterious. Let's go see. Uh, 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 no. Uh. Ah. Where is it? That's not it. What are you looking for, Ray? My other pink polka dot sock. I need it to play tag. Why do you need pink polka dot socks to play tag? Uh, I always wear pink polka dot socks when I play tag. No pink polka dot socks, no tag. No tag? Ray? Have you ever tried playing tag without your pink polka dot socks? <laughs> Are you kidding? Why would I? Might be fun. You could play tag in striped socks. Striped socks are for eating popcorn. Red socks? Uh, red socks are for playing hopscotch. Or no socks. No socks? <laughs> no way! I just can't play tag with you. There's got to be a way to help Ray play tag without his pink polka dot socks. Uh, uh, maybe my wiggle can help Ray. Moo, moo, moo. What should we do? Moo, moo, moo. Read a book with you. Let's move. Come on, get up and move it. Come on, get up and shake it. Move it and shake it. Let's find a book. Come on, get up and move it. Come on, get up and shake it. Move it and shake it, let's find a book. Wiggle, giggle, cock a doodle doo. We're gonna read some books with you. With a bar and a quack and a wiggle in your shoe. Wilbur's books are fun for you. Come on, everybody, and move it. Come on, everybody, and shake it. Move it and shake it, let's read a book. Read a book. Read a book. Blue. Moo. What's the book, Wilbur? The title is Same Way Andre. It says, Same Way Andre is a rooster who eats the same thing every day. Sounds like a good idea. How's that going to help Ray play tag without his pink polka dotty socks? Only one way to find out. We're ready to read. How about you? Moo, moo, moo. We're ready to read too. Once upon a time, same way Andre ate nothing but popcorn every single day. Hurry, 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 please. Mmm, popcorn, I love it. His friends would offer apples and other goodies to eat. Uh -uh. But Andre would shake his head and refuse every treat. No thanks. Mmm.
One day, while munching on popcorn, need I say, he bumped into a friend eating an ice cream parfait. Popcorn flew into the air, and ice cream did too. And when the food had settled, they had ice cream popcorn goo. <gasps> There was ice cream in the popcorn and popcorn in the parfait. His friend gave it a try and said, Try it. This tastes okay. Really? But there's ice cream all over it. I know. That's what makes it so great. To his surprise, Andre loved the taste. This is amazing! And ever since that day, he loves to try every new thing he can. Now, I'm New Way Andre. Mmm, that's yummy. The end. <laughs> that book was amazing, Wilbur. It made me see just what I should do. You mean we're going to play tag? Uh, uh, no! I'm going to make some popcorn! Just like Andre. And fortunately, I have my striped popcorn-eating socks! Mm -mm. Uh? Wilbur, I thought the book was going to help Ray play tag without his pink polka dotty socks. Hmm. Moo, moo, moo! Is the answer in the book? We'll find it, Wilbur. Let's take another look. Once upon a time. Same way Andre would only eat popcorn. He loved it so much he ate it every day. Mmm, popcorn, I love it! His friends offered him other things to eat, like apples and grapes and carrots. He always said no. No thanks. One day, while he was eating popcorn, he didn't see his friend, and he bumped into her. She was eating ice cream, and both of their foods flew up in the air. Her ice cream got on his popcorn, and his popcorn got on her ice cream. She tasted it, and it tasted great. Try it. This tastes okay. But there's ice cream all over it. That's what makes it so great. So Andre tried it, and it tasted great. He liked it so much that now he loves to try new stuff all the time. Wow! This is amazing! And that's why he now calls himself New Way Andre. Mmm, that's yummy. What the story's saying is, if I try doing things a new way, I might find out I like it. Like maybe playing tag without my pink polka dot socks could be just as much fun as playing tag with my pink polka dot socks. I play without pink polka dotty socks all the time. I, I, I don't know if I can do it. Sure you can, Ray. It's fun to try new things. Don't you think? Trying out brand new things is really fun to do Like reading a new book or playing a kazoo Trying out brand new things is really fun to do So try something new, try something new I tried zucchini once, it was yummy I tried snorkeling, it was a lot of fun I went bowling, it was fun Today you can have something new to eat Trying out new foods is really quite a treat it was so yummy, yeah, that's the reason why you've got to try, got to try, got to try. I tried skiing, it was fun. I tried to snowboard and I was good at it. I ate sushi and I thought it was good. Today you can learn to do a brand new magic trick or try out Okay, with only one pink polka dot sock, I 
Ray? Will know? Play? Tag, you're it, Sasha! <laughs> I'm it! Way to go, Ray! Yay! I'm trying something new, and it's fun! I'm just like New Way Andre! Hey! I'm New Way Ray! Yay! <laughs> That's why I always say books are moveless! <laughs> you're it! Now we open up a book and we gather around to read a book. <laughs> we'll read a little story that we'll perhaps found. We'll read a book. <laughs> now we're laughing and we're reading and we're having fun. We'll read a book. <laughs> we'll keep on reading till the story is done. We'll read a book. <laughs> Let's read a book. Come have a book. Move. Wilbur starts a giggling, <laughs> then he starts to laugh, <laughs> then he starts a wiggling. He's such a funny cat. Move. When he starts to wiggle, when he starts to giggle, you know it must be time to read a book. Because books are moveless. Read a book. Because books are adventurous. Read a book. Come on, everybody, let's all have fun with Wilbur. <laughs> Dasha is a happy duck. She loves to laugh and fly. Cock a doodle doo. It's Ray. You know that he's not shy. Little Lippy giggles when Wilbur wiggles. These barnyard friends just love to read a book. Books are moveless. Read a book. Cause books are adventurous. Read a book. Come on, everybody. Let's all have fun with Wilbur. Spilled apples. Moo. Mmm, moo. I love apples so much, they make me want to moo. Come on, moo with me. Moo! <laughs> uh huh. We've been picking apples from the trees. See? Uh. Moo! Where did that come from? <laughs> Me! Thanks, Libby. All these apples have to go into the barn for winter. Mm -hmm. Let's get them in there. Okay. I got it. It's not heavy at all. No problem. I got it. I can help, too. It's pretty heavy, Dasha. I don't know if you can lift it. Sure I can, Wilbur. It is pretty heavy, but I can do it. Libby, help, Dasha? No thanks, Libby. I can do it myself. Whoa! Uh, you look like you could use some help, Dasha. No, I don't need help. You don't have to do it all by yourself. But I... Want to. Dasha really wants to move those apples by herself. But that basket's really heavy. We've got to help her. It's hard to help when she won't let us. Uh -huh. Oh, Wilbur's wiggling. Ha! If you're wiggling, Wilbur, help is on the way. I think you're right, Ray. Moo, moo, moo. What should we do? Moo, moo, moo. Read a book with you. Let's moo. Come on, get up and move it. Come on, get up and shake it. Move it and shake it. Let's find a book. Wiggle, giggle, cock a doodle doo. We're gonna read some books with you with a bar and a crack and a wiggle and a shoe. Wilbur's books are fun for you. Come on, everybody, and move it. Come on, everybody, and shake it. Move it and shake it. Let's read a book. Read a book. Did you find a book, Wilbur? Yep. Why don't you take a break and read with us, Dasha? Okay. Good job, Dasha. I bet you could use a rest. Maybe. Just for a bit. What's the book called? The title is Three Friends in a Rowboat. It says, This is a story about a duck who wanted to row a boat by herself. I don't want to row a boat, Wilbur. 
I want to move a basket of apples. You're right, Dasha. Do you want to read it anyway? <sighs> sure, Wilbur. We're ready to read. How about you? Moo, moo, moo. We're ready to read, too. Once upon a time, in a boat far from shore, a duck watched two friends as they each pulled an oar. Stroke! 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 That looks like fun! It is. It's hard work, too! Whee! Then the little duck said that she wanted to row. Her friends offered help, but she said... No! Are you sure? I can do it all by myself. I don't need your help. Okay, here we go. She rowed, but the boat didn't move from that spot. Uh, it's harder to row a boat than I thought. You sure you don't want a little help? No, I can do it. Uh, I know I can. Soon the duck was as tired as she could be. Phew. So she said to her friends, Will you please help me? Of course. We thought you'd never ask. Stroke! <laughs> With her two friends lending a hand, they got the boat safely back to dry land. The duck learned that on her own, some jobs are hard to do. And so she said, Next time, I'll ask for help from you. The end. That was some story, Wilbur. All that rowing and helping and helping and rowing. Yeah, it was good. But I've got to get back to that basket of apples. You mean... You're still going to try to move it all by yourself, Dasha? Yep. Mm -mm. <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. Oh, no! Uh-oh. We'll help you pick them up, Dasha. No, I can do it myself. Dasha still doesn't see that sometimes she needs help. Maybe we need to look at the story again. Yeah. Hmm. Moo, moo, moo. Is the answer in the book? We'll find it, Wilbur. Let's take another look. Once upon a time, two friends were rowing a boat together. While their duck friend watched. She wanted to try rowing because it looked like fun. That looks like fun. She really wanted to try it all by herself. Her friends offered to help, but she said no. I can do it all by myself. Okay, here we go. So she tried and tried, but it was harder than it looked. She couldn't make the boat move by herself. She got really tired. Finally, she asked her friends if they would help after all. Will you please? Help me. Of course. We thought you'd never ask. Stroke! 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 I get it. When they all rode together, it was easy. Some jobs are too hard to do by yourself, so it's better to do them together. Next time, I'll ask for help from you. The little duck found out it was too hard to row the boat all by herself? Yep. So I guess moving a whole basket of apples is too hard for me to do by myself, isn't it, Wilbur? I think it is. Then you know what I'm going to do? Ask for help. Will you please help me move the apples into the barn? Sure, Dasha. We thought you'd never ask. Yay! Do you ever need help doing things? Sometimes you're gonna need help from another It might be from your sister or your brother 
To make an ice cream float Or zip up a winter coat Sometimes you're gonna need help from another I need help braiding my hair I need help getting up in the morning Sometimes I need help to open the big door If you need to reach for something way up My brother cleaned up his room. If it's hard to get it done and you need help from someone, that's okay because getting help is lots of fun. We did it! We did it! Thanks for helping me. You're welcome, Dasha. Now, I need your help. What do you need help with, Wilbur? I need your help to eat these nice crunchy apples. <laughs> I can help with that. Yay! <laughs> mm. Me too. Mm. <laughs> That's why I always say mm -hmm. books are moveless. <laughs> mm.